we're asked to determine x, which is the x-coordinate of the second ordered pair, so that the distance between the two points is five units. The distance formula for two points on the coordinate plane is shown below, where the distance is equal to the square root of the square of x sub two minus x sub one plus the square of y sub two minus y sub one, where the first ordered pair is x sub one comma y sub one, and the second ordered pair is x sub two comma y sub two. So in our case, let's go ahead and label our ordered pairs. We have x sub one comma y sub one, x sub two comma y sub two. Notice how we're looking for the x coordinate of the second ordered pair, so the distance between the two points is five units. Let's substitute all the known values into the distance formula. We know the distance d is five, giving us five equals the square root. The radicand is the square of x sub two minus x sub one plus the square of y sub two minus y sub one, which gives us the square of x minus two plus the square of two minus negative one. And now we need to simplify and then solve for x. Well, two minus negative one simplifies to two plus one or three, giving us five equals the square root of the square of x minus two plus the square of three. And now let's undo the square root on the right by squaring both sides of the equation. Remember, squaring will undo the square root. So on the left, five squared is equal to 25. On the right, again, squaring undoes the square root, leaving us with the square of x minus two plus the square of three, the square of three is nine. The next step is the square x minus two. To do this, we have two factors of x minus two. When multiplying two binomials, we have four products. We distribute x, and then we distribute negative two. We have 25 equals x times x is x squared. Then we have x times negative two plus negative two times x. That's negative two x plus negative two x, or negative four x, giving us minus four x. And then negative two times negative two is positive four, giving us plus four. We still have plus nine. Four plus nine is 13, giving us 25 equals x squared minus four x plus 13. Because we have a quadratic equation, we will set the equation equal to zero and hopefully solve by factoring. To set the left side equal to zero, we subtract 25 on both sides. Simplifying, we have zero equals x squared minus four x 13 minus 25 is negative 12. If the right side does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. Because the coefficient of x squared is equal to one, the constants of the binomial factors will be the factors of negative 12 that add to negative four. Well, negative six times positive two is negative 12 and negative six plus two is negative four, and therefore we have a factor of x minus six and a factor of x plus two. Notice here we have two solutions. Notice that the, pro the product on the right is equal to zero when x minus six is equal to zero or when x plus two is equal to zero. So we will have two solutions for x. We have x equals six or x equals negative two. So going back up to the problem, we now know the distance between two comma negative one and six comma two is equal to five units, but also, or the distance between two comma negative one and negative two comma two is also five units. Again, we found the x coordinate of the second ordered pair could be positive six or negative two. So we have two possible solutions. Before we go though, let's take a look at this on the coordinate plane. The given point was two comma negative one, this point here, and then we found x equals six or x equals negative two. When x equals six, six comma two is this point here on the right, 
the length of the blue segment is five units. We also found x equals negative two, which means the second point could, which means the second point could also be negative two comma two, which is graphed here on the right. The length of the green segment is also five units. I hope you found this helpful.